The president is proud of the many achievements of his young administration, but none more so than the solutions and interventions this government this government was able to provide for a sector that for so long has languished in debt and neglect from those who were mandated to take care of them, a part of society that virtually feeds the nation. Karen Villanda tells us more. In his second State of the Nation address, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. proudly laid the achievement of his administration in the agriculture sector and lowering the price of basic commodities such as pork meat products, sugar, and onions. He received an applause when he tackled the 70,000 Kariwa stores all over the country, in which around 1.8 million Filipinos benefit from. Through direct selling from farm to consumer, prices of goods became cheaper. 50 million rice seeds and other equipment were given to farmers. Land titles were granted to 70,000 farmer beneficiaries and he was able to sign into law the Emancipation Act that he promised in his last SONA. Ang ating pagpapatigil ng mga bayarin ng mga beneficiaryo sa ilalim ng ating nilagdahan EO number no. 4. Isang taon mula nung aking unang SONA na isabatas na ang bagong Agrarian Emancipation Act. <laughs> Dahil dito, ang 57 billion piso ng utang ng, na, pinapasa, na pinapasan ng mahigit 600,000 beneficiaryo ay tuluyan ng nabura. To resolve the problem brought about water shortage and the El Nino phenomenon, Marcos managed to establish the Water Resource Management Office, but he wants to create a Department of Water Resource Management in the course of his administration. The chief executive cited programs to fulfill his promise that no Filipino will be left behind as budget was allocated for poor Filipinos, such as fund for the PAD program, social pension for indigent seniors citizens, cash for work for persons with disability, and the newly launched pilot food stamp program for the nutrition of millions of the poorest Filipinos. He also mentioned the lowering of prices of medicine up to 44%. Mayroon ding iba na bumaba na hanggang siyam na pung porsyento. Aside from the maximum retail price regulation being implemented, strategic VAT exemptions also lowered the prices of 59 essential medications such as those for cancer, diabetes, hypertension, kidney disease, and mental illness. In the latter part of his sauna, he proudly announced one of his major programs, which is the free shelter for Filipinos. 25 groundbreakings have already been made and contracts have been signed for 100 locations all over the country for the Libreng Pabahay program. This sums up to 1 million free homes for Filipinos. Karen Villanda for The Nation.